Now, welcome. In this video, we're going to discuss chapter 14 and we're going to discuss the conflicts and the themes. So let's have a look at the settings and the characters, of course. Um, you have Agnes, Oliver's mother, and the her sister turns out to be Rosemary. That is the sister of Agnes and Oliver is thus the nephew of Rosemary. In the settings, you see Highgate, all the places where Bill Sykes runs to after killing Nancy. Highgate, then Hampstead Heath, Hendon. Uh, of course, the West Indies is where uh, Mr. Brownlow goes looking for, uh, for monks. River Thames and Rotherhithe district. This is where the other gang members of Fagan were hiding when Fagan was taken by the police. And this is also where Sykes dies accidentally. Then Wales is mentioned and a quiet country village is mentioned in chapter four. This is where the story basically ends, this quiet country village. So let's see what happens in the last chapter. So we see that Oliver, Rose, Mrs. Maley and Dr. Losburn, and of course, Mr. Brownlow, they travel to Oliver's birthplace. And there Oliver learns that Monks is his half brother. Monks tells him about the letter his father had written to Agnes and about his father's will. Now his father had left Monks and his mother an annual income of 800 pounds and the rest of his property to Agnes and Oliver. There was no place, so I've written all this at the back. Then the money would only go to Monks if the younger son, Oliver, turned out to be evil. Now Monks's mother had burnt up the will and Agnes never received the letter. Agnes ran away from home to give birth to Oliver in secret so as not to bring shame to the family. Agnes's father, he changed his name and moved to Wales after Agnes uh, disappeared. They didn't know that Agnes um, had died. Now, the younger daughter, this is a sister of Agnes, who was only two or three at the time, she was taken in by some poor people. Now, Monks's mother was so full of revenge that she made sure that Agnes's younger sister led a miserable life. She hunted her down and she told the family that had taken her in that she was an illegitimate child. Um, and that's why everyone believed that Rose uh, was not from a respectable family, and that was because of Monks's mother. Now, Mrs. Maley saw her by chance and she pitied this little girl and she took her home. And this young girl was Rose Maley. She came to be known as Rose Maley. And Oliver turns out to be her nephew. So Oliver and Rose were really shocked to hear this. And they were so emotional. They ran into each other's arms and they talked to each other for a long time there, thereafter. Now, Fag uh, Fagan is pronounced guilty by the court and he's sentenced to be hanged. Mr. Brownlee and Oliver, they visit Fagan in prison and they ask him for the papers that Monks had given him. But Fagan, he refuses and he, um, and he denies any knowledge of the papers. The next day, Fagan is hanged. Now, three months later, Rose and Harry, they get married. Harry, he abandons his political career and he becomes a simple man of the church. And of course, Harry... Um, he knows that Rose, is, Rose uh, was from a respectable family, but even if he, even if that was not so, Harry would have even then married her. Mrs. Maley, she goes to live with them for the rest of her days. Mr. Brownlow, he adopts Oliver as his son, and both of them also move to a house in the same village where the Maleys lived. Dr. Losburn, he leaves Chertsey and also joins them in this same village. Now, Mr. Brownlow, he suggests that half the remaining money from the will be given to Monks. That wasn't necessary, but Oliver, he was more than happy to do that. Now, Monks, he goes off with the money. He spends it quickly, and, it's, and he is soon in prison for fraud. In prison, he becomes ill, and he dies. The remaining members of Fagin's gang also die in similar ways. Charlie Bates is one member who turns his back on his past life of crime and he lives honestly as a farmer. So you see, it is possible to leave the life of crime. Even Noah Claypole is given a free pardon for telling the police about Fagan. And he is employed by the police as an informer. Mr. and Mrs. Bumble, they lose their jobs and they lead poor, miserable lives. Rose and Oliver, they lead happy lives. They're very happy in that quiet little village. Um, most important to remember is that the hardships of their past lives did not make them bitter towards anyone. Instead, they showed mercy and kindness to others 
in accordance with God's will. Now I'm going to discuss the conflict and the themes. Now, we've already discussed poverty, human suffering, hypocrisy, betrayal and lies, callousness of people and authority, cruelty to animals, prejudice. Mr. Brimberg, he just because Oliver was a workhouse boy, he thought he wasn't to be trusted. Then there's deception by Nancy, who pretends to be uh, Oliver's um, sister, but there's also there's lots of deception. Now Fagin wants to kill Sykes, he doesn't trust Sykes, um, things like that. He plots against Sykes. There's also bad influences, the way Fagin wants to influence Oliver to become a thief, just like he had done to Charlie Bates, just like he had done to the Artful Doja. There's also a lot, there are lots of differences between the rich and the poor. Then Nancy's inability to leave a life of crime. It's really difficult to leave a life of crime. She was offered a safe haven by Mr. Brownlow, but she refuses. She says, I can't, I can't go back. I can't, I can't leave Bill Sykes. She doesn't leave him. There's also greed for money. Monks' greed for money. Fagin's greed for money. Sykes' greed for money. Um, and we also learn that society is cruel. The way Rose is treated just because she was thought to be an illegitimate child. The mother of Oliver Agnes, she had to run away because she was pregnant. She had to run away to give birth to Oliver because she knew this would bring shame to her family. Society wouldn't let them live in peace. We also have you know, the conflict of social status, like between the rich and the poor, between workhouse boys and normal boys and charity boys. Throughout the story, we see that there is, um, you know, um, people in people with a higher social status had more than people uh, with a lower social status. Then also we see there's lots of difference between the city and the country. The city is mostly associated with crime, whereas the country you see towards the end, where even when Oliver begins a new life, and then again towards the end of the story, he does it in the countryside. Pure, simple life away from the hustle and bustle of, sit, of, of the city, probably away from the greed and the hustle and bustle of life. Then finally, the themes. The themes, poverty is a theme, definitely throughout the novel. We see that in, in Charles Dickens' London, this played a very important role, poverty. Crime played an important role. Social classes, societal norms uh, played an important role. Humanity in the midst of evil, like Mr. Brownlow, he was humane to Oliver. There was everything, when everything was going wrong with Oliver, he was the one who pulled him out of that life. Rose Maley, Mrs. Maley, she helped Rose and Oliver. Then appearances can be deceptive. We can't trust, uh, you know, everybody who pretends to be really nice. For example, uh, Mrs. Mann at the baby farm, and uh, she only pretended to be really nice. Mr. Bumble pretended to be really nice, but he wasn't. Then no one is born a criminal. Circumstances are to blame. Loyalty, that is to be learned from Nancy. She sacrificed her life just because she was uh, loyal to her gang, even though it was evil. There are also dreams, importance of dreams, ghosts, and the supernatural. Again, destiny, what you can call, is that God has um, everything in mind, has planned out everything. Then the chains of a criminal life are hard to break, but not impossible. Of course, Nancy could not get out of that life, but Charlie Bates did. Noah Claypool did. Love breaks all barriers. Here we're talking about probably Rose and Harry. Um, um, that they were in love with each other and even societal norms, etc., did not play an important role for them. Then we must not let... Our hardships make us bitter, but better. Oliver and Rose could have become very, very bitter because of the hardships they faced, but they didn't. They became better individuals because it's very easy to become bitter when you, when you, when you lead a hard life. Um, God wants us to be merciful and kind to all despite our circumstances. This is what you see at the end of the story that the God is mentioned and that... Um, the fact that it is godly to show mercy and kindness to other people, no matter in what circumstance you find yourself. And finally, that God's justice comes to all sooner or later. Justice is done.
Fagan was hanged. Bill Sykes met his cruel fate. The dog died. And all the gang members, uh, Fagan's gang members, were caught. And they died. Similarly, monks, he died. He met a similar fate. Right? So this was the entire chapter of Oliver Twist. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the videos. Do watch them. And should there be any questions, you can leave a comment. Thank you all very much.